In Krakatoa MX 2.5, we have enhanced the existing magma operators intersect ray and nearest point to allow testing of back faces or ignoring them. This can be done either for the whole operator or per particle. So let's uh, test this by creating a PRT volume out of this geosphere and we'll be using the plane for testing in order to see if the particles are um, above or below the plane, that means seeing it from the front or seeing it from the back, we'll animate this PRT volume to be above in the beginning and then we'll keyframe it to be underneath after that. So uh, we have this uh, PRT volume moving up and down and we'll add a uh, space magma in order to avoid dealing with the object space and world space. So we'll create a position output, an object nearest point, we'll need geometry, we'll pick that plane and we'll create a position which will be already in world space. And if we enable auto, all the points are going to be moved to the surface and if I play back the animation, nothing changes, all the points stay on the surface because from both sides of the plane they are seeing front side or back side, doesn't matter, they always find the nearest point. But you'll notice that there is a new input, ignore back faces, and it has a default value of zero, which makes the operator operate just like in the previous versions of uh, Krakatoa. And if I enable ignore back faces, setting the value to one, now the points that are underneath are moving to the origin because the test is invalid and the output of the position is zero. I'm going to reorder this and I'll need the is valid to create a logical test with the switch which is uh, technically an if operator. I'll pass this as the output and I'll connect the position to be the value when the condition is true and the position without the lookup, just the original particle position uh, to go there when it's false and now if I play back we'll see that especially if I switch to wireframe mode and disable the grid, all the particles will start ignoring the back faces when they move below the plane. So the sphere, which was flattened before, starts emerging from the plane. Okay, so this works, but um, as you notice, there is an actual socket, which means we can pass a value per particle, and that makes it a lot more powerful. Uh, it means that we can create any logical tests. For example, uh, PRT Volume has a special channel that is called uh, Sign Distance, so we can create IC for input channel and then find the Sign Distance value. And there is a Sign Distance and we can compare it, say, less than uh, the floating point value minus 10, which means that uh, any particles that are less than 10 units from the surface inside the sphere will be producing a result of false and anything that is in the core of the sphere more than 10 units from the surface is going to produce true and if we move the time slider we're going to see that the core emerges and the rest, the band of 10 units outside actually staying put on the plane. In order to visualize this better we can colorize the results so we can create another switch with uh, for example a red and blue color and pass the same logical test and now the core is painted in red and the crust is painted in blue and you see that the red particles are the ones that are passing through and appearing on the other side as a sphere and the rest is staying. As mentioned, any logical tests are valid here, so what we could do is add another a logical operator, say AND, and then uh, do a test against, for example, the normal, and we can extract from the normal the y-axis, and say if the y-axis is less than zero, then uh, it will produce true, and when it's uh, greater than zero, it will produce false. So we see now on the positive side here, the red particles became blue and now they're behaving like all the other blue particles and only half of the sphere is emerging. And if we want to continue with this, we can add another logical operator and say, let's do exactly the same test, but for the X. So we'll do, we'll connect it over there and then say 
Okay, let's do less than zero again. And now we have only a quarter of the particles painted in red and ignoring the back faces and everything else is finding the point on surface even from the back side. Exactly the same applies to the intersect ray. The intersect ray has exactly the same uh, input socket and can be set for the whole operator or upper particle to decide whether to ignore the back faces or not. Hopefully this will give you a lot more flexibility when performing geometry lookups in Magma.